WHO or the World Health Organization suspend all clinical trials for hydroxychloroquine as potential treatment for COVID-19. But NAVDAQ says Nigeria won't stop. And the federal government plans to roll out the cause of action for the reopening of schools in the country. I am Benny Ark and this is Plus Politics. The UN agency had on Monday said it had temporarily suspended the clinical trials of hydroxychloroquine as a potential treatment for COVID-19 over the safety concerns. But Mrs. Adeyaye said there were proven records that hydroxychloroquine had been effective in the treatment of COVID-19 patients. Mujishola Adeyaye, the NAFDAQ boss, said she and Nigerians will not suspend as there were proven records that the drug had been effective in the treatment of COVID-19 patients. And I'm being joined now by Dr. Tui Mebawondu, public health practitioner. Thank you, Dr. Tui, for joining us. Yeah, thank you. All right, before we go into our deliberation this evening, let's take a look at what the DG of NAVDAQ had to say about the use of uh, the testing of hydroxychloroquine for the treatment of COVID-19. Take a look. NAVDAQ is, the, is not the one deciding. NAVDAQ only oversees uh, clinical trial protocol reviews, uh, but the researchers or the clinical research team of Lagos State uh, had decided that they would continue with the previously planned uh, clinical trial, which includes chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine. Uh, the state, the Lagos state will still participate in the solidarity trial that WHO uh, has planned. So it is the research team, clinical research team in Lagos state that decided that it is better to continue what they had planned uh, instead of abandoning it and going only with uh, the WHO uh, solidarity uh, trial. And it makes sense in, because uh, hydroxychloroquine, uh, though it is suspend, the clinical trial is suspended by WHO, uh, may be justifiable based on the data that, that they might have collected and not knowing the data uh, population itself, uh, I will not comment too much on the decision, but if the data was collected from Caucasian population, uh, then it may be right uh, for them to suspend. Uh, if it is not from the African population, uh, then the science may not be there to suspend it in Africa. Because we have different genetic dispositions and uh, what may be good for an African may not be good for Caucasian, vice versa. I don't see too much of a problem uh, because I was at a meeting uh, of a WHO Afro last week and WHO is considering developing a protocol, I'm talking of clinical uh, trial protocol, uh, to conduct clinical trial on the COVID organics. There might have been a few disagreements here and there, but uh, WHO is looking at uh, having this protocol so that different countries can be part of that protocol to test or to examine rather the COVID organics. Uh, so I don't see too much of a fallout. I believe what we all need, meaning the uh, stakeholders in this COVID-19 uh, pandemic is for us to be able to talk and exchange opinions, rational, scientifically driven opinion. From my own understanding, uh, different uh, clinical trial centers or, hospital, or uh, isolation centers include chloroquine in the treatment of their patients. I, I repeat, this is just 
at the clinical trial centers or uh, the isolation centers. Yes, the chloroquine is being used. And uh, from uh, what we see on the TV or hear, uh, people are getting better uh, with chloroquine being used or with antimalarials generally being used. And uh, okay. that is part of the reason why uh, Lagos State uh, decided that it's better to keep chloroquine in the previously designed clinical trials that they were going to do. They will still continue with the solidarity trial uh, of the WHO. Uh, just to make sure that, you know, enough data is gathered on all other uh, drugs uh, in order to make sense of it in terms of effectiveness or no effectiveness later. I did not say that there are no side effects. All drugs have side effects. The simple aspirin has side effects. Panadol has side effects. All drugs have side effects. Chloroquine has side effects. It has effects on the heart. For those who have underlying conditions of the heart, their medical doctor will be able to advise them on whether to use it or not to use it. And when they are using it, they've got to be monitored. NAVDAC sends a cautionary note to uh, the Ministry of Health, to NCDC, to Lagos State uh, Triclinical Trial Group, to be very cautious when using uh, chloroquine. The patients must be monitored, especially for those who have underlying conditions uh, of the heart or whether diabetes or whatever. And it, it, I would say, yes, it is, because the doctors are the ones treating the patients at the clinical trial centers or the isolation centers. Uh, awareness is also, can also be increased or be escalated to let people know that chloroquine has side effects. However, we have used chloroquine forever in Nigeria forever, meaning for a long time. Professor Mojit Shola, the NAVDAQ DG, they are saying the NAVDAQ, regardless of war calls from different great countries of the world, saying they will not continue with the test and clinical trial of hydroxychloroquine, but NAVDAQ is saying they will go on. And on the show with me tonight, I already introduced him, is Dr. Tuyi. Dr. Tuyi, remember what you Thank you for joining us on the show tonight once, once again. Thank you for having me. Now, why do you think NAVDAQ is choosing to go ahead with the use of hydroxychloroquine for clinical trials, in spite of WHO instruction to put it on hold? Now, um, uh, let me, let's be frank. Uh, these are difficult times for science and for healthcare. Because, you see, you have a novel virus that is causing a lot of problems, killing a lot of people. The, the conspiracy theories have, have gone around, have gone gaga, saying all sorts of things. With our sense of social media is causing a lot of problems, and there's a pressure on healthcare system to provide solutions, either in terms of drugs or vaccines. The vaccines is far away. We're trying to look at the drugs. Now, WHO was pushed to talk the solidarity trial. The solidarity trial is extreme to medicine. The normal trial, which we all used to, is what we call randomized trials. The randomized trials, you have to really put up a, a, a lot of design. You have to do a lot, capture a lot of data and do deep analysis, and it takes years. But with, with, with that solidarity trial, you are going to cut the number of time you are going to take to get results to about 80%. But even with that, preliminary results, in fact, you know, involving many countries, because the solidarity trials involve a lot of countries, as much as more than 30, in fact, up to 100 countries have enrolled. But at the initial stage, they see that the, 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 the hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine are causing a lot of problems and added to the death. In, indeed, we're not seeing evidence of reduced death rate. We're seeing increased risk of arrhythmia and heart problems among those people that are going to trial. Don't, don't let us forget, Nigeria enrolled in the solidarity trial and also chose to do their own randomized trial 
Okay? There are at least two trials going on in Nigeria. The, the WHO solidarity trial and the randomized trial by NAPDAC and its groups. Okay? Now, of course, WHO has stopped their own solidarity trial. If Nigeria is going to follow the randomized trial, we know that the randomized trial takes a, a deeper details. You have to collect more data. Analysis must be very, must be top notch, okay? And then you know that you need to do more work with 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 the with the randomized trial. If that if NAMDAC is going to go on with the randomized trial, let us be sure that they are going to collect data, analyze, and peer reviewed. That is very key. It must be peer reviewed. You cannot just do data and say that this is what we find out. Your peers, your experts all over the world must also look at those data and agree that this thing is working. Interesting. Dr. Tui, interesting you made mention of, of peer reviews. Dr. Tui, interesting you did go there now on peer review. Now, some countries like Burundi and Madagascar are falling out with the WHO for disagreeing on many issues surrounding COVID-19 and there could be potential consequences. Are you not worried about that sort of repercussions with this action of NAVDA wanting to continue with the clinical trial of hydroxychloroquine? The, the most worrisome repercussion is if this thing causes more arrhythmia, if the hydroxychloroquine causes more complications, and it's causing death in people with heart and other clinical problems, and, and if it's also not ad advancing, if it's not advancing the cure rate of COVID, then what's the point? Okay, that would be the greatest worry. Yeah, but now, but the you know, this is say, Dr. Tui, I, I, I Dr. Tui to interject. Yes. The, the Nada Digi did clearly say when she was speaking that there's a data to prove that hydroxychloroquine worked for many COVID-19 patients. So why do you it's think clearly, the World Health Organization listen, is going, listen. is asking for it to be halted? Let, let me, let, we, 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 are, we are all researchers, you understand? It's too early. Now, Nigeria is having how many, how many, how many have we tested? We've done like, you know, 30 something thousand people tested. Okay? As of today, we're having how many positive cases? Maybe, maybe about 8,000 or just a bit about 8,000. You cannot use that data, honestly, you cannot use 8,000 people as a data to prove anything. It's too early in medicine. There are compounding factors. Let us also appreciate the fact that in medicine, in science, this disease itself has 90, 95% of people will recover. You know that 95 percent will recover okay those could be a confounding factors in the research and then secondly we have just two percent that's going to have problem okay now in nigeria we have our, our immune system has a memory of chloroquine use okay so you know we may not be able to see for whatever reason africa might have been lucky or we might have been lucky a bit with the outcome of coronavirus infection in nigeria but now, if you are going to put chloroquine, because I can remember as far back as 2005, we pulled chloroquine out as a treatment of malaria. We pulled it out because it was not being effective. Now, we are bringing it to, the, to, the, to, this, to, to uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, COVID cases. You must be able to tell us specifically what is the mechanism. How does chloroquine you know, cause uh, reduction in the fatality of COVID-19 infection? These are clear cutting. So for me, 8,000 people, of course, not all of them have taken that chloroquine. If one of them took the chloroquine, we have not gotten data. Data needs to be analyzed. Data needs to be peer reviewed. And we must be sure that there are no other confounding factors before we can now say that, wait, this drug is good. But let us not also face it. In the solidarity trial of WHO, it's not only hydroxychloroquine that is involved. There are other drugs that are involved, okay? Re 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 remdesivir is there. The remdesivir, okay? Yeah. And then. Yes, lopinavir, ritonavir is there, and then there's additional of one alpha uh, beta interferon that's added to it. Okay, this is because because if you can if you can remember, uh, in Brazil they conducted a, a study. They were conducting this hydroxychloroquine study, and they found out that it was a lot of people were losing their life because of the side effect, and they had to stop it. And that is science for you. Unfortunately, this era, science is under a lot of pressure. Because there's a lot of hype, there's a lot of noise, conspiracy theories, social media, interest, interest social media people who are, you know, you know, crafting treatment. This put a lot of pressure on medicine and people are now looking for how do we get treatment. Dr. And Tui, here we are. Now, the, the NAVDAC has clearly stated its stance that it will go on with a clinical trial of hydroxychloroquine. Now, should there be any problem with this trial? Um, you know, the natural reaction would be 
they will blame NAPDAC for this in Nigeria. Now, what, what you, again, I want to ask you, how do you think if this should happen, how would the Nigerian government, well, now looking at NAPDAC, how do you think they will resolve any controversy this might generate? What, what will happen is that it's a trial, okay? You, you know, if, if it's a randomized trial, if they're doing a randomized trial, that means that they have to design the trial um, process very well. Once they design it and they're looking at data and data is not good, they'll pull it down. So it's a trial. There's nothing to, to, to get um, worried about. But if we had gotten through with hydroxychloroquine, that would have been the cheapest way to deal with this virus. But unfortunately, what we are seeing in other parts of the world, including India, including India that has a similar demography and similar disease uh, pattern like us, they pull down the hydroxychloroquine. Let's see, Let's see how far we're going to go yeah, with the NAPDA trial. Today. Because as far as the solidarity trial is concerned, WHO has stopped it for now to further analyze the data. But in Nigeria, it's going to be their own randomized trial, okay? The randomized trial is more detailed. It takes a longer time. If they're doing their own randomized trial and they find out that the thing is not effective, I'm sure they'll pull it down. They'll pull it down. All right, lastly, that, okay, Dr. Tui, we have done our own lastly, um, the NAD, NAD, NAD DG also, they say that it has gotten so many applications for herbal remedies by herbal doctors. Now, should we, should we, should we consider homegrown solutions instead of the clinical trial of hydroxychloroquine, which she's insisting will go on despite the WHO stance to put it on hold? Should we begin to think about homegrown solutions hey, away from hydroxychloroquine? My brother, the fact is this, the simple thing is this, medicine is medicine, science is science. There's nothing called homegrown, you know, science when it comes to analyzing data and looking at details of what we need to do to get people well. There's not something called homegrown hypertension or homegrown treatment for hypertension. If your hardware product is going to work, let us put them to test and trial. Simple. We cannot, you know, but again, let's face it. This is a, a, a new coronavirus. It's not known. Details are not known. At this point, where we are is that we're doing trial and error to see which of the drugs is going to work and work very well. Now, at this point, what you can do is to uh, embrace those prevention methods, avoid crowd, cover your nose, wash your hands, you know, and increase your hygiene, increase your respiratory hygiene. That is what we have on our hands now. Every other thing is they are just trials, okay? We're just trying to see whether it's going to work. Improve your nutrition, enhance your immune system. If you can do all those ones, you wait, because at the end of the day, you may likely fall within the 95% that's going to recover automatically or oh, have a mild we, we sort to, of symptoms. We have, to, we have to put a cap on this right now. Um, you, you're still with us on the second segment, and so I want to say thank you for your contribution on this. We'll take a quick break, and when we return, we'll be talking about the plans to reopen schools across the country. Stay with us.